I look like a toe. What did I just read? Besties, welcome back to another video. Today I am starting something that I should have done months ago. It is long overdue and I am committing to only reading the books that are on my physical TBR. My physical TBR has grown exponentially and it is just never ending. The books just keep piling up faster than I can get through them and then what do I do? I choose to read books from the library or read books on my Kindle or listen to audiobooks and just completely avoid the books that I have sitting waiting for me on my physical TBR. This is going to be a spoiler free reading vlog, but you are going to be coming along with me as I tackle my never ending physical TBR. I'm sitting right next to my TBR car and it is about to get some love. So I wanted to hop on, introduce this video and get started reading the books that I have on my physical TBR. How many times can I say physical TBR? This is going to be a challenge for me, but I'm up for it and you're going to come along with me. And I'm actually really excited to have the extra motivation to get to some of these books that have been sitting here for months. All right, let's do this book besties. I will update you soon. So I actually have to run here shortly. I am babysitting. I've been babysitting this whole week. I think that's actually where I caught this cold that I think I'm getting. Um, but I have to go pick them up from school here shortly. But before I do, I want to tell you the two books that I'm actually in the middle of right now. Let me bring you down here. Let me bring you down here. Bring you down here. Okay, so first things first, I'm in the middle of Unravel Me. I'm on page, I think I'm on chapter like 18 or 19. I was reading this on my Kindle last, so I don't have the book my bookmark updated in here but I'm just over like 100 ish pages I think and I'm having an okay time I feel like this is faster paced than Shatter Me was I'm more into it than I was the first book um there's more action and like adventure I feel like in this one however I'm not like antsy to pick it up I'm not really super invested but it's still early in the book so as you guys know this book the series in general was on my physical TBR, obviously, my fall TBR, and then my series TBR. So it's like on all my TBR lists. It's just a series I really have been needing to get through. And I figured it was time. It was time to make the progress because I'm putting off fantasy reads because in my mind I want to finish Shatter Me before I pick up like any other of the series I'm looking forward to reading. So I am trying to make my way through this. This is book two in the series if you're unfamiliar and I have I have the rest of the series back here. There's four more books and some novellas left after this one and like I said I'm not super enjoying it but it is still pretty early so I'm re re reversing? No. Still pretty early so I'm reserving judgment on this um, but yeah I will keep you posted on that. And then I am also listening to Things We, things we Hide From The Light. Um, I mentioned in a previous video if you saw it that I just finished Things We Never Got Over and I surprisingly this is an unpopular opinion I did not love it and so I was struggling to get into this book when I would sit down to read it but I'm finding that listening to the book on Audible is helping me so I'm working my way through this one as well still very early in this one I just started it I think yesterday or the day before the audiobook so we are slowly but surely getting our way through this one as well. So yeah, these are the two books that I'm in the middle of and I'm loving the aesthetic of this now that I hold these up together, like the pinks. I love that. I love that so much. I'm like looking in the viewfinder. Cute. So yeah, as of now, that's where we're at. And these are the books I'm in the middle of currently. So I will be keeping you posted, keeping you updated. I really got to go or else I'm going to be late to pick up these kiddos. So definitely don't want to do that, but I will touch base with you. So I feel the need to update. I have been making progress on my fall TBR. I finished Unravel Me. Let me grab these books actually, then I can show you what I'm talking about. I finished Unravel Me a couple of days ago. I ended up listening to the audiobook because I was really struggling to get into it. And sometimes switching formats really helps me. I've talked about that before on here. Um, and I wasn't sure about how the audio would be because if you're familiar with the Shatter Me series, whoa, there's, I almost dropped it. <laughs> there's like um, kind of weird things in here where like there's writing that's crossed out. There's a lot of weird formatting and spacing that I feel like is actually really important to the story. Like Juliet sometimes will be writing, she's the narrator and she'll write something and then cross it out. And I was like, how are they gonna 
convey that in the audiobook, but I actually thought they did a really cool job. Like, as the narrator's reading in the audiobook, after a part that's been crossed out, there's like a really cool, like, pencil scraping sound in the audio. So, if you've read the audio, you definitely know what I'm talking about. I thought it was really, really well done. Um, so I ended up finishing Unravel Me yesterday, and then today I started started the novella after Unravel Me, which is Fracture Me. So I have been working my way through this. It's about 70, 80 pages-ish, so I just started that this morning, so I'm not very far into it, but I have that. And then I placed a hold on the audio for Ignite Me, which is the next book in the series. I think I'm going to lean on the audio until I can get more into it. I've heard like Ignite Me, Restore Me, and Define Me get really good, those kind of middle books. And so I am going to lean on the audio a little bit more until I feel, I guess, super interested in it. Like reading it's going to come more naturally because otherwise it just kind of feels like like pulling teeth. And that sounds really terrible, but it just, I'm struggling. And I have an even bigger update on the other book that I was reading. <laughs> so I was reading Things We Hide From The Light which is the second book in the Things We Never Got Over, the Knock Em Out series. So this is Knox and Lena's book. No, not Knox and Lena. Nash and Lena. See, tells you how into it I am. Um, this is Nash and Lena's book, and Nash is the brother of Knox, who is the first book. And this is just not for me. I was really trying to get through this one to read the, the last book that just came out, Things We leave behind I believe is what it's called things we leave behind yeah that sounds right um so I was trying to get through this to read the last one and I just life's too short to read books that you're not enjoying so I've actually decided to dnf I'm going to dnf this book I'm giving up on the series which pains me if you know anything about me I hate to give up on literally anything I hate to give up on books I hate to give up on I'm just stubborn I like to complete things and giving up on stuff just Ooh, it like bothers me but I just I just can't I can't get into it I can't do it so I have DNF'd things we hide from the light so that's a toughie everyone just loves that series so I'm a little disappointed but that's okay I'm trying to not beat myself up about it I can have different preferences and that's totally fine so I like I said I'm in the middle of unravel no I'm struggling today middle of fracture me those titles, like, they get me. Shatter me, unravel me, ignite me, restore me, defy me, imagine me, destroy me, fracture me. There's, like, so many, and they feel so similar, so I really struggle with those titles. But So I'm in the middle of that, but it's a novella, so that'll go quick. And while I'm waiting for the audio of Ignite Me, I'm torn if I want to start The Naturals, which I just bought, um, Yours Truly, which I just bought, or The Seven Year Slip, which I just bought. And I'm actually... On my way to a bookstore which is going to be in my fall bookish vlog that I hopefully will have coming out soon so um, if you want to see like the vlog portion of going shopping with me go watch that but that's where I'm at currently I am hoping to pick up Divine Rivals I found like a random Amazon gift card that had like a hundred dollars on it the other day so that was a major score and I've just been buying books with it so I want to pick up Divine Rivals that's definitely something I want to read um, the Chestnut Spring series I really want to read, but I'm going to California next month, and those are all on Kindle Unlimited, so I feel like that would be a good series to tackle while I'm away, so I don't have to pack books. I can just bring my Kindle and have the whole series. Yeah, I'm really just trying to work my way through my fall TBR and my physical TBR, so everything that I've mentioned that are, is on my fall TBR and my physical TBR is kind of an option for me right now, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to start next, but first I'm going to go to the bookstore to see if there's something there that jumps out at me before I start something else and commit but I'm kind of thinking seven year slip sounds nice everyone's been talking about that and it feels kind of fantastical and fallish so that will probably be what I start but I will keep you posted I just want to touch base and let you know that I finished unravel me dnf things we hide from the light I'm so sorry so sorry Lucy score lovers now I'm like afraid to read I have rock bottom girl and I have Maggie moves on and I just I don't know I don't know I don't know I think it was just I don't know if it was the writing or the characters or what but yeah, it was just tough for me. Anyways, that's where we're at. I wanted to update and touch base and I will let you know what I decide to pick up and start reading next. Hopefully later today. It's a Sunday. So I want to go to the bookstore, come home and curl up and probably read for the rest of the day. So that's where we're at and I will talk to you later.
happy cozy day. It is Monday right now. It's so rainy out. I went for a walk this morning and got absolutely drenched. Like the second I left the house, of course, it just started like downpouring on me. So that was nice, but I'm a little frizzy. I'm a little cold, a little wet, but I am sitting here in the middle of my work day. I'm in between client calls right now, but I wanted to check in because I ended up spending my Sunday night reading and I finished, I finished Fracture Me, the novella. I think it's book like 2.5 technically in the Shatter Me series. So finished Fracture Me last night and I am so hesitant to talk about series. Like when I'm doing reading vlogs, I never want to talk too much about series when I'm like past book one because I feel like anything I say could be a spoiler. But what I will say is the point of view of Destroy Me versus whose point of view is Fracture Me, Destroy Me is like night and day so much better. I did not love Fracture Me but I'm also grateful for it in a weird way because it gave me a different perspective and really solidified my opinion on one particular character if you know you know. So I won't ramble for too long in case you don't know what I'm talking about or you're reading the Shatter Me series right now and you don't want spoilers so I will zip my lips but I did finish Fracture Me so I'm waiting for the audiobook of of Ignite Me to come in because like I said I want to lean on the audios until I'm like super invested and feel like I can read them because I am teetering on a reading slump and I don't want to read something that's going to push me over the edge into a full slump so I'm waiting for the audiobook because sometimes that's easier and then I'm really torn tonight I'm looking forward to reading I'm feeling sick and like I said it's just a rainy cozy dreary day so I'm really looking forward to reading tonight I'm torn if I want to start the seven year slip or read yours truly I read the first book in the series part of your world I have it over here in my stack of like books I've read so far this month don't look because the recap will be spoiled but I read part of your world and this is the second book in that series and I've heard even better things about this one so I'm super excited to read this but I also have heard really amazing things about the seven year slip so I think I'm going to read this one first um I've seen a lot of I think Sarah Caroli just posted a picture in like a photo dump on Instagram and one of the quotes was from this book and I was like oh that might have just sold me maybe that was my sign that I want to read this next and it's relatively short it's just over 300 pages so feels kind of fantastical whimsical fallish and so very excited about this and yeah I think that's all my updates right now I do have to go because I have a call in like three minutes that I'm gonna be late for but I will wrap it up here for now. I'm uh, hopefully going to be able to read tonight. I have a very, very, very busy work day. I was nannying last week. I was watching the little boys that I watch all last week, Tuesday through Thursday night. So I ended up like not getting to do a lot of my work work. So I'm feeling like I'm playing catch up. So I'm very overwhelmed. Plus I have a little bit of cold. So I'm just kind of trying to calm myself and get through this Monday but I am really looking forward to hopefully a slow night tonight so as of now that's where we're at I gotta go I'm gonna go to my work call and I'll check in with you later today I do not feel good I'm so tired and my throat hurts we will persevere the weather today is like ideal fall reading weather it is rainy and dreary and cold and gray and I do not want to be working right now. I am so excited to wrap up my work day and be done and read. I'm going to start the seven year slip. I tried to start it last night and I only read the first chapter, which is like literally a page and a half. So I ended up putting it away because I was just exhausted and I wanted to be able to be like alert and present and paying attention and I just didn't have it in me. But I am so excited to start that today. I'm like so ready to curl up with a book and just be cozy and be lazy I've been avoiding filming. I have been really struggling with self-confidence and filming myself and then watching myself back. I'm picking out all my flaws and really just feeling super negative about it. So I've kind of put like my sit down videos on the back burner just because I don't have it in me right now. But I did want to pick up the vlog and touch base and I feel like I just really need a good self-care day. So I'm ready to give myself some TLC, show myself some love, have a little reading afternoon, and hopefully just tend to my mental health a little bit. I can tell I'm struggling because when my mental health tanks, I tend to pick apart my physical appearance and my body and my face and all the things. So 
I'm ready for the opportunity to slow down and rest and hopefully that will come with a lot of reading and so I will keep you updated with where I'm at with reading and how I'm liking the seven year slip. I'm super excited. I've heard phenomenal things about that book so I will definitely keep you posted. I'm about to wrap up my work day here. I Oh, I'm actually late for a call, so I have to go, but I will touch base with you after this call. I will be done with work for the day and pick up my book and I will talk to you then. It's time for us to chat. I this is gonna rock everywhere. Woo. All right, I think it's time for us to chat. I'm on chapter three. This is intense. I'm like sweating. People are already dying. What did I just read? I was like writing notes in my phone because I had to remember things to talk about. And if I kept talking to you in the middle of it, I was just gonna get distracted and be even more confused. There's so much fancy language in here. I don't know what anyone's talking about. I don't understand. Parapet. The thing that they're walking across to get to the writer's quadrant, writer's quadrant, question mark, parapet. I'm picturing like, <laughs> I'm picturing like a tightrope that they have to walk across, but like maybe it's made of stone because she was talking about slippery with the rain and like, am I totally off base picturing a tightrope walking across like a river? I don't really know. All I know is people are slipping. People are dying. I'm stressed. I was literally, literally sweating during that scene. And then this dude is like, I'm gonna kill you and he's like running after her like what it's so out there for me like I'm used to my rom-coms and this is so out there that like I think I'm reading things right but what I'm picturing is so bizarre that I'm like surely I'm confused like am I misinterpreting this am I reading this right I will also say I'm like part way into chapter three now and I will say I feel like I did a pretty good job of like avoiding spoilers for this book but one thing that is really bothering me is that I know the boy in this book that's kind of the love interest. Like I know the boy that everyone falls in love with. I know his name. And so I kind of wish I didn't because Dane was just introduced and I have a crush on Dane already. Like childhood friends is my, that's my favorite trope. And the second she said they've known each other since they were like five and six, my heart just like, mm. plus he's handsome. He's protective. He's cute. He's like taking care of her right now. She like hurt her knee or something and she's not feeling well and he's, caring for her and he's just yeah but that's where I'm at right now I feel like my brain is like full at like max capacity of fantasy vibes so I feel like I need to get through the rest of chapter three and then maybe take a break for a little while I'm also in the middle of killer instinct so this is like a mystery YA book it's a way easier read for me just because like YA and I'm just really into that so I might take a break from fourth wing maybe for the day and pick up killer instinct I don't know yet but yeah bizarre book bizarre bizarre i don't even know if i'm reading things right but we're just we're vibing we're vibing we're gonna see where it goes <sighs> i have updates ignore this it's tuesday i've been doing computer work all morning and I don't have it in me to look like a human being, so. So I have a couple updates. I finished the audiobook of Defy Me last night, which is in the Shatter Me series. I have it back here, I should just grab it. So I finished Defy Me last night, and I have to be honest, I did listen to the audio, but it is still a book that was on my physical TBR, so I'm counting it. It counts for sure, because at least it's read and it's done. Um, this book I was really struggling to get into. It's book four or five, I think it's book five in the Shatter Me series. And it was really hard for me to get into. Book three, I really loved. Book four, I liked a lot. Book five, wasn't a huge fan of. And until the very, very end, I did like how it ended. It kind of redeemed it for me. I think I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. But I just wasn't a fan. I was struggling to get into it. So I needed to listen to the audio to get myself into it. I was listening to the audio when I would like go for walks and everything. So I did finish this yesterday, so that's a little update there. And then I filmed last night, but I didn't talk because I was cranky, honestly. 
but I was reading Killer Instinct and I am close to done. I'm on page 300 and there is 375 pages in this. So I'm hoping I will have some time to read tonight or later today and get this one wrapped up. I am loving this. This is another series. This is book two in the natural series. And this is an older series, but it recently like regained hype. The book girlies, I think, recently re-brought this to life. And this is Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the author of the Inheritance Game series. If you're not familiar with the natural series, you've probably heard of the Inheritance Games. Um, I'm really enjoying this. It's YA crime mystery. It's basically a group of teenagers that have natural abilities. Like there's two of them are natural profilers. One of them has like an un un unnatural ability to read lies and to be a liar. So like super supernatural lying abilities, I guess. And one of them is super amazing with statistics, like math genius brain. And the other one is amazing at reading emotions. Like they can look at facial expressions and tell exactly the emotion going on. So those five, yeah, there's five of them. But they, these five teenagers with natural abilities are recruited by the FBI to work on cold cases and they end up finding themselves wrapped up in active murder cases that are actually very close to them personally so it's just really amazing i'm loving the characters i'm loving the storyline it feels kind of like criminal minds but ya and i'm loving this loving it so far i'm eating it up so i will probably be finishing this one tonight and then i do have another update and you might be able to see it here i'm doing it third time's the charm am i right ladies and gentlemen i have dnf this book two times and I finally committed to reading it. So I ordered the paperback from the UK because I was like, if I'm gonna read this, I need to be comfortable. And hardcovers are so freaking heavy. I cannot lay in bed and read hardcovers. So ordered the paperback from the UK. It is stunning, it is gorgeous. It's probably the prettiest book on my bookshelf. And I've been working my way through this. I'm on chapter, well, update. I read to chapter five last night. And I was noticing I was really struggling to understand and keep straight all the different names of the places and the people and like the things that were happening. It's just a lot. Basically the names of the people and the names of the places and the names of the things in this book, like all fantasy books, are so confusing and so hard to pronounce and I was finding myself just like skipping over the names of things as I was physically reading because I was like don't know how to pronounce it and my brain would just like hop skip and jump over that word and I wasn't understanding I wasn't able to keep things straight so I was like I'm gonna try a different approach I'm gonna get the audiobook and so I've been listening to the audiobook today and it is actually helping hearing someone like actively I look like a toe but it is actually helping hearing someone like actively pronounce the words um, I'm able to keep them straight a little bit more and I think now that I know how to pronounce the words and I have a little bit better of a grasp on it I think I'll be able to read the physical copy as well um, so I might kind of bounce back and forth just because it's such a long book too. I think it could be good to have two different formats so I don't get like burnt out of reading it. But I'm read physically through pay or through chapter five and I'm on in the middle of chapter seven of the audiobook right now. There's a lot of characters. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of names to keep straight. There's just a lot and it's definitely a mindset shift if I'm not like I'm really not used to reading fantasy and it's a huge mindset shift. But that's where we're at with that. I wanted to update because fourth wing has been a struggle for me. If you know, you know, I've DNF twice and it's just been a challenging book for me to get into, but I'm doing it. I'm committing to it. What the heck is going on with my hair today? I gotta go. I am just, hopefully next time you see me, I will look a little bit more human, but right now we're just keeping it real here, book besties. We're, we're real. This is real life. But anyways, that's all the updates I have for you right now. I finished Defy Me. I'm about to finish Killer Instinct and I just started Fourth Wing. So we are cruising on this challenge to get through my physical TBR and I'm feeling proud of my progress. I'm really sticking to it. I'm determined. I'm gonna get some of these books read. We're gonna do it together. And yeah, that's where we're at as of now. And I will touch base with you when I have further updates. Probably Killer Instinct will be the next thing I read, but Lord knows I'm a mood reader, so we'll see and I'll keep you posted. I have an update. I finished Killer Instinct last night and it was so freaking good. I am just so in love with this series. I have, I think, all in. I just picked it up from the library. 
I'm gonna start all in maybe tonight. I don't know, I really feel like I need to break up because I'm in the middle of fourth wing right now and I am in the middle of the natural series. I feel like I need a romance break in there, like a little palette cleanser. So I might opt for a romance in between the natural series, book two and three. But since I have it from the library, like I do kind of feel a little bit rushed to read it because I want to return it and like get it back to the people that have holds behind me. I don't know. I'm really having a dilemma, but long story short, the update, I finished Killer Instinct. This is phenomenal. This series is everything to me right now. I think I'm going to give this a four and a half stars. I can't decide if I like the first book or the second book better. I think I was more shocked by the ending of the first book, but I think I like the characters more in the second book, like the character development and the relationships and I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick with that. I think I like the plot of the first book, but the characters in the second book more. They are the same characters, don't get me wrong, but like the character development and the relationships and the character storyline. This book was amazing. This series is just blowing me away. It is so worth the hype in my opinion. Like I heard a lot of people talk about it and I was afraid it wouldn't live up to the hype. Totally is in my opinion. I'm loving this. So I have to decide later tonight if I'm gonna pick up All In or if I'm gonna opt for a romance. If I choose romance, Yours truly is definitely what I'm going to opt for. This has been on my TBR for a very long time and I love Abby Jimenez so freaking much and I just adore her writing. I love her books. I love her female main characters. I love how she challenges deeper topics and like includes deeper topics in her writing. This one talks a lot about anxiety. I think the MMC struggles with anxiety pretty severely and I have pretty severe anxiety myself and so I'm really excited to see how Abby Jimenez portrays anxiety in her book. I think she does a really responsible job with harder deeper topics in her novels so super excited for this. This will probably be what I pick up next just because I feel like I need a little bit of a palette cleanser and since I'm still actively in the middle of this bad boy I feel like this is taking a lot of mental energy and so I don't know if I have it in me to start a brand new suspense crime mystery detective type of book when I'm keeping track of the bajillion fantasy names and the world building and everything going on in fourth wing my brain is already like maxed out so if I'm gonna start a second book while I'm reading this I think it's gonna have to be something a little bit lighter lighter in terms of like plot not lighter in terms of topics because I know we just talked about anxiety but you know what I mean. So this will probably be the duo moving forward. I will keep you posted as I go along, but that is my little update as of now. Killer Instinct, done, phenomenal book, loving that series, and actively in the middle of fourth wing and confused AF, but I'm vibing. I'm liking those stories. I think I'm understanding like 72% of it, so hopefully I'll keep getting more and more of an understanding and I'm I'm invested. I like the story. I'm liking it so much more this time. I didn't give it a fair shot the last two times that I started it and DNF'd it. But yeah, that's where we're at as of now and I will update you when I have an update for you. Hello, hello. Last time we talked, I was debating what I was going to start next. I was debating between, what's it called? Not Killer Instinct. All In. I was debating between starting book three in the natural series or Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I do think I made the right call. Last night I started Yours Truly and it is so, so sweet. It is so good. I'm not even that far into it, but like I'm obsessed with both characters. I'm obsessed, whoa, I'm like holding my tripod so if I'm like wiggly it's because I don't have upper body strength and this is like kind of strenuous activity, not gonna lie. I'm already obsessed with Jacob and I love how his anxiety is already being portrayed. Like. The verge of a panic attack is described and it's just like it hits because it's so relatable and props to Abby Jimenez for covering this topic. Like I know there are so many people out there that struggle with exactly what Jacob is going through in this book and I think she's doing a really great job so far of describing it as someone who has lived it. I do feel like she's doing a pretty accurate job describing what it's like to have anxiety and like my mom's texting me. Describing what it's like to have anxiety and like describing the struggle of like just feeling so much panic over things that like logically you're like why am I panicking over this but it's just it's hard it's really really hard and I think she's doing 
a phenomenal job. I just keep saying that over and over again, but I'm like just under 50 pages into it, but I'm really, really enjoying it so far. So I do feel like that was a good call. I haven't read a romance in a minute, so I felt like I needed a romance gap in there. And so I feel like this was a perfect decision for a filler book right now. But yeah, that's where we're at. I wanted to hop on an update because I haven't touched base since I was still deciding what I was going to read yet. So I did choose and I do feel like I've made the right choice. So I will update you as I get further along in that book. I have updates. So first and foremost, I want to just get fourth wing out of the way because I'm vlogging this entirely full separate fourth wing vlog if you want to go watch that. So I just want to quickly update. I'm about halfway through this, just over halfway. I'm over 300 pages through this one. I was really, really into it for a while. It's starting to feel super duper slow. Like every chapter, I feel like I'm just reading a fight scene, a fight scene, a fight scene, a, fan a fantasy fight scene, like over and over and over again. So I'm kind of dragging my feet with this one. I'm feeling a little bit burned out of this, but I am working my way through it. I'm definitely not giving up on it. Like I am going to read it. I'm iffy if I'm going to pick up Iron Flame, the second one as of now, but that's where I'm at with Fourth Wing. But what I really want to update is yours truly. I am reading this book right now and I am in love with this book. I loved Abby Jimenez before this. I really, Life's Too Short was my favorite book by her before this. This is like on track to be a five star read. I'm on page 237. And as of now, like I'm thinking this is going to be a five star. The anxiety rep in this book is phenomenal. Like there's certain things that get brought up where it's like, wow, like that. I feel so seen and like they are normal, normal daily things that people without anxiety like wouldn't think twice about. But seeing someone struggle with the little things that I struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis is like so validating and so cool to read in a book. Something as simple as like stressing about the parking like at an event or going to a new bar and like you don't know the parking situation and that brings so much anxiety. Or there's one particular scene I love where she asks him if he wants to meet her for lunch and he goes full panic mode over like what to have for lunch. He's like it can't be too crunchy, it can't be stinky, it can't be a food that needs a table because we don't have a table where we're eating. It can't be anything that's going to get stuck in my teeth. Like he goes through all the things trying to pick like the perfect lunch that's not going to be... He's trying to like pick the perfect lunch that's not going to be embarrassing or bring up any uncomfortable situations. And then he shows up to this lunch and she's eating like soup, like a cup of noodle, like those little styrofoam cups, you know what I'm talking about? And she, it's like stinking up the whole area. Noodles are falling out of her mouth and he looks at her and he's like... She doesn't care. Like, she's just living and, like, people, how liberating that must be to not have just stressed for two hours over the perfect lunch to eat and just show up and not have this constant, never-ending cycle of thoughts in your head. And I read that and I literally was almost in tears because I was like, yeah, like, that's what it's like to live with anxiety. And people that don't have anxiety just don't understand that. And to see that so beautifully represented in a book, in a character that I resonate with so deeply amazing. I'm loving both the female and the male main characters in this. I'm loving how they care for each other and they're gentle with each other and they're kind to each other. This book is just knocking it out of the park for me. Abby Jimenez does it again. Loving, loving, loving this. Um, I'm hoping to finish this tonight if I can get some reading in tonight. I have, like I said, I'm on 237 and it only goes to 387. So I'm on 237 to 387 is like 150 pages. So hopefully can get that done tonight. We'll see, but that's my goal for the night is to get through the rest of yours truly because I am loving this. But that's the update as of now. Fourth wing, kind of mid, honestly. Yours truly, knocking it out of the park. On track to be a five-star read. Fingers crossed it ends as strong as it is right now. All right, guys, I am here with, I think, the final update for this reading books on my physical TBR vlog because I am ready to read a book that I don't have the physical copy of. I really want to read The Simple Wild and I'm going to be reading that on my Kindle because it's on Kindle Unlimited. So I'm going to have to stop this video here. I had a really good, good stretch. I did a really good job. Wait, I'm forgetting a book. Hold on. Okay, so since we last talked, I've done quite a bit of reading. I read a book in one day, so that really helps out. But I finished Freaking Fourth Wing, the biggest, heftiest, longest book in the whole wide world. This book felt like it was never going to end to me. I'm, I have a whole fourth wing spoiler reading vlog that's going to go up. So if you want like more in-depth thoughts on fourth wing, that will probably be up before this video. So go make sure you watch that one. Um, there will be spoilers, so beware. 
but I didn't love Fourth Wing as much as it seems like everybody else did. I will not be reading Iron Flame as of now. I won't say never, but right now I don't see it happening. Um, this book, when I reviewed it on Goodreads, I kind of put it in the best terms possible where it's like, this is the hardest I've ever had to fight to not give up on a book and to get through a book. But I also didn't hate it. Like, I don't think I would say I dislike Fourth Wing. I would say it was a very difficult book for me to get through. Um, I wasn't super invested. It definitely didn't give me the five or six star feelings like a lot of people said it did for them. I was really invested in the romance of this book, but all the fantasy portion was like, I shouldn't say all of it, a big chunk of the fantasy portion was like really difficult for me to care about or get into. I did like the dragons. Um... I thought the dragon bonding, I thought that part was cool. I don't know. I don't really know. Maybe it was kind of like right book, wrong time. Maybe I'm just not a fantasy girl. I just, as I was reading it, all I was caring about was the romance. And I'm like, I should just be reading a romance book if I want to read about romance. You know what I mean? So this ended up being a three star read for me. Really was difficult for me to get through, but ironically didn't hate it. Like I wouldn't say I disliked it. It just was hard for me to feel really invested and excited to read it. But for more, go watch the Fourth Wing vlog for sure. I talk about it for way too long on that vlog. Speaking of wanting a romance, I read Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. And this book is one of my favorite books of the year. This is a five star read for me. The anxiety rep in this book, the romance in this book, the way that the female main character just gets to know the male main character so deeply and he's the one that struggles with anxiety. I think I talked about it on here already and she gets to know him so deeply and just is so caring for him. Like they have a pact to like do no harm and they that is established within the beginning of the book so that's not a spoiler but I just love the way that they interact with each other and the way that they, they deeply care and respect each other. It is beautiful. This book was beautiful. Abby Jimenez, I loved her before this. I love her even more now. Amazing, amazing book. A five star for me. One of my favorite romances of the year and I would highly recommend reading this book. I will say the ending felt a little bit rushed. Um, it felt a little bit predictable, a little copy paste to a lot of other romances, but still I don't think it took away from the story. I don't think that dissuaded me from a five star rating at all. It gave me the five star feels. Five star book. Amazing. And then the book that I read in less than 24 hours. Imagine me. This is the very, very, very last book in the Shatter Me series. There is one novella after this, which I am going to read because I have to just finish it out strong. This book was really good. Um, I think only good because I knew it was coming to a close and there were the emotions about leaving behind this world and leaving behind the characters. I think the book itself didn't completely wow me, but I think I felt so deeply connected to the characters from the last five, from the last five books and novellas in between that it was more me being like really connected to the characters and really passionate about the characters in the world and their stories, less about this book in particular and what happens in this book in particular. So I ended up giving this a 3.5 stars I was really caught in between like a 3.5 and a 4 star rating on this one just because I love the characters. I love Warner. I love Juliet. I love, 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 love Kenji. I just love this world and saying goodbye to a world whenever you finish a series is like, it's really tough. But I highly recommend the Shatter Me series. The first book was really hard for me to get into, but I think stick with it and you will really enjoy it. At least I did. Ignite Me is by far my favorite book in the whole series. That was like a five star read for me without a doubt. I think that was book three and that was a really really good one. That was my favorite one for sure. This one was less action-packed, less of a favorite book, more just like emotional because it was a closing of the series and a big chapter. So I'm gonna try to remain confident in my 3.5 star rating. I think that's what the rating that will stick but know that it was like 3.75 kind of in there. Can you see my pimple patch? I'm breaking out really bad. So that is all I have for this reading vlog. I did a really good job of sticking to my physical TBR and I got through a lot of books. That's not to say it didn't exponentially grow way more than the amount of books that I read. Like there are more books on my TBR cart now than there were when I started this video. I have a problem. I have been good about not buying books, but I've been really fortunate and really lucky that I've been gifted a lot of books. 
so that's really exciting but my tbr cart is like overflowing thankfully if you don't follow me on instagram which you should but if you don't follow me on instagram you don't know this news i bought a house i bought a freaking house so thankfully i will have a whole office to turn into my office slash library reading room so my books will have a much larger living space coming up here shortly and I cannot wait to put that together. I'm sure you guys will come along with me with like building the bookshelves and putting together my reading corner and I just can't wait for the videos that are to come. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those videos. But that's all I have for this particular reading challenge slash vlog slash me just wanting to do this little challenge for myself to clear some books off my TBR. But that's all for today. Like I said, don't make sure you're don't make sure you're subscribed. Not exactly what I meant to say. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those future videos that are to come with the new house and setting up my book room and all the things. And of course, more book rec videos, more vlogs, all the fun stuff. But make sure you're here for the long run and you stick around and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me as I tackled my physical TBR. I love you, book besties. Bye.